Hey you guys, welcome back to Angel Angela and um, coming on here just to make a quick video on when the narcissist does not get their way or when you say no to a narcissist, you know, when you say no to a narcissist, you know, you could literally um, do everything for this person. But the moment you say no to them, the moment they don't get their way, it's, you know, they, they look at you with such hate, such disgust, like they want you dead, you know, like they want to hurt you, you know, and sometimes they do hurt you, you know, they'll put their hands on you, they'll push you, shove you, throw you off the bed, push you out of a car, you know, um, and a lot of times they won't do this to other men, they won't fight other men, you know. Other men get a no from them and, you know, they don't want no problems with them. But as a woman, if you say no to a narcissist, you know, when you're dealing with a narcissistic man that has a lot of feminine qualities about them because they're willing to step up to you because of their, you know, of their need to control, they feel like, I'm the man. This is what a man's supposed to act like. This is what a man does. A man controls. A man is the head of the household. A man is, you know, is stronger than a woman. A, ma uh, 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 a man is above a woman, you know. Uh, they, they talk down on you. And not just narcissists that you're in a relationship with. Strangers that you don't even know. They're entitled they feel like you owe them something. They feel like you need to make something happen out of nothing. You need to make a miracle happen for them. You know, you can't give that person change on the street. You know, they're mad at you. They're giving you the hateful eyes. You know, you, you say no to someone at work. You know, they're trying to get you fired or over nothing. Over them not being able to control their emotions over their immaturity, over their, you know, um, their abusive lifestyle, you know, they're probably being abused and now they go out into the world and abuse other people. They, they don't have certain opportunities because they don't want to work or they don't want to work hard or they don't want to stay in their own lane. Or they don't want to, you know, let go of toxic people in their life, you know, and they're used to the narcissist always saying no to them, you know, they're like, oh, the narcissist is always saying no to me, but you, but you don't leave the narcissist alone, but you don't walk away from the narcissist, but you still want to be sleeping with the narcissist. You still want to go back and forth with the narcissist. Meanwhile, your focus is on the narcissist saying no to you. But even though they're saying no to you, you're still a yes person to them. You're a yes person. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am to them. Because it doesn't matter what they do to you. And then you go out into the world and you treat other people messed up because they say no to you. You're so used to dealing with narcissistic people that when someone says no to you, you think they're lying. You think, you know, they just don't want to help you. You think that they're doing something wrong and you've already acted out of character. You know, you've disrespected that person and then you expect respect back. There's some type of entitlement. You can't focus on your own life, so you go around messing with other people and think it's okay to speak spells and speak evil into people because you're having a bad day. You're walking around giving people the funny look, giving people, rolling your eyes at people, being aggressive, being masculine. You're so masculine because the narcissist is so feminine, you know? This is what you're dealing with when you go out into the world. You're, you're dealing with narcissists and you're dealing with uh, people who are being abused by narcissists in different aspects of their life, whether it's work. You know, they get messed with at work. They go out into places and they go mess with people. They're like, I don't care. I get messed with at work, so I don't care. I'll go mess with people at work. You know? They feel like I, I, I have to deal with it. So when I go out into the world, I need everything to go my way. 
you know, I just got my check and I'm spending money and now I need everything to go my way. You know, um, so when someone says no, it's almost like a trigger because the narcissist always says no to them, you know, or someone said no to them and it affected them in a very strong way. Someone could have said no to them and they lost opportunities. So now they're they're walking around with anger, with with, you know, just evil inside of them. They're committing crimes. And they feel like, oh, it ain't got nothing, you know, it got, don't take it personal. You can, you, you, you have insurance, you can compensate everything that, you know, I did, everything that I did, you got insurance, or you got more money than me, or you, you're in a better position than me. You have a better job than me. You know, I'm in a worse situation than you. People out here think that they, when you say no to them. You know, they take it personal and they act like you have to pay for that no. You have to pay for that no. The narcissist feels like you have to pay one way or another. You know, they'll destroy your things. They'll destroy your life. They'll watch you destroy yourself all because you said no to them. Because, see, the narcissist knows how you think. And you're wondering, well, why would someone get involved with me? And know how I think and know that I have boundaries and they keep crossing them because I love them or I have feelings towards them because they fooled me into having feelings for them. Now I can't shake these feelings off. And and and, and they know they know if, if they told me, hey, I want to have a threesome open relationship, they know I'm gonna say no. So they're mad and they're telling themselves. I know if I tell them, even if I joke around, they're going to say no. So I'm going to go and do it. They're even they're even more because they, they know you're going to say no. They're even more, you know, they're even more savage on getting you back. You know, they're adrenaline junkies. They're adrenaline junkies. And now they're telling themselves they're having full-blown conversations with themselves and with you without you even knowing because all they're doing is they're thinking like you and some of them think that they know you so well they're going to think for you they're going to think for you because they're going to assume this is what you would think this is what you would say and it's sick it's sick because you got someone telling you you know who you are and they're like, hey, well, if that's not how you think, if it's a no, now they're now they're threatening you. Oh, well, we don't we don't need to be together. Well, well, then, you know, I'll just go find someone else. I'll just go be with someone else. You know. Now they get aggressive. You know, if they if they're trying to you know, lie and, and steal and cheat and do things behind your back. They're thinking to themselves, you know, I know, I, I, I know that you're going to be mad and you're going to tell me no and to stop hurting you and to stop doing things to you. So I'm going to have to do it even more because that's how I'm going to keep, keep you in the sunken place, keep you feeling wounded so that I can get what I want. And it works a lot of times for people because they beat you down so low. They knock you down on your feet that you're like, there's nowhere to go. You don't have anyone. They take you away from everyone. You know, and then now they're threatening you. I took you away from everyone and now I'm gonna leave you alone so you could be by yourself in this world. So you keep saying yes to them, yes to them, yes to them, yes to them, thinking it's love, but it's control. It's control. They beat you down so bad that you all, you you have to submit to this person. This person feels like they own you. So guess what? When you're dealing with people who feel like they own people, 
they own their parents, they own their siblings, they own, they, they want control. I control these people. I control my mother. I control my father. I can keep getting away with stuff. I can keep doing stuff to people because I have flying monkeys that believe everything they, that I tell them. I'm going to go tell them, you said no to me about this, 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 and that, you know, and then they never tell the full truth. They sit there and look at you and play stupid. You know, you tell them your boundaries. I already said no. Now they're, what did I do? But what did I do? Can you just tell me what I did? They want you to talk. I don't want to talk. There's nothing to talk about. It, it's a dead end answer. No, N O, capital N O, caps, all caps. Exclamation mark, no, 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 hell no. Leave me alone. They want you to talk. They want you to talk. So when you say no and the narcissist wants a reaction, you know what you do? You don't give them a reaction. You just turn the other way. Don't even look me in my eyes. Don't even look me in my soul. Because my soul is rejecting you. I'm telling you, no. Leave me alone. Now they're knocking at your window. Now they're breaking into your home. Now they're waiting by your car, leaving you love letters and love notes and sending you flowers because they can't take that you said no to the disrespect. You get to the point where you discard yourself and the narcissist can't take a no and they want to come in so bad like demons. You said no to me. You haven't reached out to me. You haven't called me to apologize. They want you to apologize for having boundaries. And, and you might you might apologize at first because you don't know what's going on. But when you know what's going on, now they want to flee from you. But they can't flee from you because you said no to them. You discarded them. So now guess what? The enemy wants to attack you even worse. So now the enemy says, okay, I'm going to say yes to you. I know I've been saying no all this whole time. But now I'm going to say yes to you. Like, like I'm going to feed you a snack. Like you're an animal. I'm going to say yes to you. Come on, let's go on a date. Come on, can I come over? Come on, come over to my house. Come on, let's go meet up with me. Come on, do you need any money? Do the children need any clothes? Do the children need any back to school stuff? Now they're talking to you. Oh, I miss my family. Oh, I miss you. Oh, I miss you. Oh, let's get married. They'll say anything to you. And these people are the same people that will go around telling people that you're delusional that you're crazy, that, that they're not even really with you, that you, don't, they say that you don't know how to take a no. You don't know how to take a no. So the moment you know what's going on and you stand up for yourself, guess what? Now they're, now they're chasing after you and you almost think to yourself, maybe I just got to keep saying no to get what I want. Maybe I, I, I have to put my boundaries up. Because this is the only time you're acting nice and you're going extra hard. But the enemy is deceiving you. That's Judas giving you a kiss. The enemy is deceiving you. The enemy is like, oh, bitch, you said no to me. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to make you feel so good. I'm going to say yes to you. Yes, 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 yes. You need some gas, you know, open your door. You know, you know, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to give you a snack so you can have a taste of what it feels like to be in a real relationship. And now you put your guard down and the narcissist, they're staring, gazing at you, thinking to themselves, oh, you know, this bitch is really stupid. I'm going to hurt her worse than I hurt her last time. And here you are telling this person, you know, I forgave you. I forgave you, you know, because I didn't do anything. All I said was no. So I, I forgive you, you know, I understand. Maybe you're not used to a no, you know, but that's just my boundary right there. I don't like the way you treat me. I don't like the way you make me feel. 
I just, I, I forgive you, but please don't do it again. Narcissist is looking at you like, yeah, whatever, bitch. Straight up, excuse my language. That's how they're really thinking of you. That's literally what they're thinking. I'm going to get you worse than the last time. Last time, you cheated on me. You sent me nudes. You, you, you hit me. You pushed me. You embarrassed me in front of your friends and family. You, you embarrassed me in public in front of strangers. You know, you yelled at me and, and slapped me while I was driving. You scared me. You know, you choked me. You, you crossed the line, narcissist. You're touching me at this point. You're physically abusing me. You're mentally abusing me. I'm not right. I'm not physically, mentally right. I can't even function in society. I don't even know how to be nice, how to be myself. I don't even know how to interact with people anymore. I'm scared of everyone. I'm scared. You know, please don't do it again. And the narcissist is like, oh, I'm going to do it worse. I'm really going to make you feel it this time. Like you're a fucking dog. Like you're a fucking toy. Like you're a dog that you're playing with. That you, you know, like you, like you got a, you got a snack that's hanging over the dog. And you're like, you want it? Here, get it. No, you don't want it. You do want it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. You want it? Here you go. Here you go. Ha, got you. And they take it back. That's the control. That's the control. So when you know that these people say they don't like it when you say no, you want to stay away from them. That's anyone, everyone, anyone coming at you like that. Anyone that wants to go back and forth with you. That's all they want to do. You know, you'll ignore these people. You'll look to the side. Don't even look in my eyes. Don't even look at me. Stop talking to me. You're telling these people, stop talking to me. I don't even want to talk no more. That's basically what you're saying. Because you're not talking. You're not wasting your energy. Your frequency. They're trying to lower your frequency because they want to argue. And you know they want to argue. So you don't want to argue with them over a simple no. Because you have the right to say no. They're weirdos. They're weird as hell. So now you look to the side. I'm not speaking. I've, I've already explained myself already twice. And I'm wasting my breath. I don't even like repeating myself over and over again. It's stupid. It's dumb. Because nothing's going to change. So when someone says something to you, you should just listen. And you should figure it out. You should solve the problem on what you could do next. Because obviously, you know, you're not taking the hint. I've told you no. You know, so now what the narcissist will do is they'll sit there and stare at you, stare you down. Now they want to intimidate you with their, with their, with their gaze. Now you're gazing at them. You want me to talk. You want me to waste my breath. You want to curse me out. You want to curse me out. You want to put curses on me. You want me to curse you out so that I can curse my damn self. You want me to do, if I interact with you, you're going to curse me out and put spells on me. Or I'm going to curse you out and put spells on myself. Because I got to pay, I got to, I got to deal with the consequences of my actions too. I got to deal with the low frequency. Once I start speaking negatively, I got to deal with that. Because I'm going to feel stupid that I even wasted any energy on you. And I'm going to feel dumb when you leave. Like, why did I even, why did I even get on this person's level? Because it seems like now you didn't want to, you didn't want to leave when I was being polite. You didn't want to leave. You didn't want to leave me alone. Now that I'm pissed off, now that I'm exposing you, now that I'm telling you the truth about yourself, you're sitting there, what did I do? What did I do? Now that I'm telling you what you did to me, how much you hurt me and what you, how I feel, now you're getting a, a satisfaction because even though I said no to you, you feel like, look at you, bitch. You're so emotional right now.
Look at you. Oh, so you do love me. Oh, so you are hurting. Ha ha. Good. Now they want to say, I don't give a fuck, bitch. Now they're looking at you, calling you names. Now they're sitting there, fuck you. You're nothing but a hoe. Now they're talking down on you like you're some somebody off the street. Like you're a, a prostitute off the street walking on the east side or something. They're talking to you crazy. They're lowering your standards. They're lowering your boundaries. They're lowering your value, your frequency. They're lowering it to their level because that's where they're at. See, it's not about how much money you got. It, it does none of that stuff matters. It matters, but it doesn't matter because you can have money and be classless. You're classless because you can't take a no. And when you can't take a no, your it starts showing in your face and your attitude, especially when when you're forcing yourself on people. That's what they do. They force themselves on you for that no. Now they're now they're mad. Now they're trying to destroy you. I'm going to get you fired. I'm going to call this person. I'm going to call that person. They don't even know who you are. They don't even know you the boss. You a boss. They don't know. They don't care. You have a good career. You have some going for yourself. You tell the narcissist, no, guess what? They're just going to try to hustle you out of your career. They're going to try to bring you down. They're going to try to make you feel low so that you can go to work and have no energy. So you can go to work with an attitude. So you can finally explode. That's what they want. Oh, you said no to me? Oh, okay. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to deprive you of sleep. I'm going to cheat on you. I'm going to use you for sex. I'm going to, or, or I'm going to take sex away from you and just go have sex with someone else. Uh, watch what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to destroy your life. I'm going to destroy your career. All because you said no to me. That's like someone going to, to a restaurant and you're mad at your server because your server because your food came out cold and your server has nothing to do with that. She just came and brought it to you. She's not the cook. Do you have enough common sense? She's not the cook. It's like these narcissists don't have common sense. You can't teach them any etiquette. You can't teach them class. You know, they all they do is go around copying people and then they want to come to you and, and and they know maybe you don't know certain things and they want to treat you like you're stupid because you don't know certain things that they the information they stole from someone else and they're sitting here acting like they they discovered that information all on their own and if you say something to them no your information is actually wrong i actually have studied on that subject and this is this is the proof this is the proof in the pudding they're going to be like, you said no to the information I gave you. Now they're going to try to force their belief systems. They're going to try to force their viewpoints, the information they've gathered probably from someone else. That's not even accurate. Sometimes they don't even really know. They just jumping into conclusions of what they believe. And now that you say no to them, oh, no, that's not right. They're trying to force you to believe something that's not real just because they don't want to look stupid. They don't want to be that kid in class who who got the answer wrong. So now they want to belittle you. And if you give them proof of your information, they're still going to be mad at you and say, no, you're not right. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. They're like children. They're weird. You know. They're weird. They're weirdos. It doesn't matter if they have money, if they're on the street. They're weirdos. You say no to them, all that, all that, you know, them trying to act like they're so much better and they're so much, they're high class and they're, you know, all that attitude that, 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 you know, I'm the shit, I have a nice car or I have this or I'm a good looking man or I'm a good looking woman. All that shit goes out the window because your attitude is nasty. It's sick. It's disgusting. You don't have class because 
Other people will say no to you and you won't say anything to them. You're only going to do that to people you feel like you can control. And a lot of times the narcissist will attack certain women or they'll attack, um, you know, certain people because they feel like, hey, I can get away with that. I've been abusing my mother, my relationships, the women in my relationships. I've been abusing all the women in my life. So if I can do that to them, I can talk to you crazy, too, just because you said no to me. And then they command you. They talk to you in a commanding way. They're putting commands on you like you're a puppet. I'm not your puppet. I, you know, sometimes you don't even know these people. They're commanding you and they're treating you like the people in their life, how they treat the people in their life. Go play with your mother. Go play with your kids. Go play with your girl. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't talk to me like that. I'm a woman, you know. And I'm a woman with standards and boundaries. I know it's hard, a lot. It's hard to find women with boundaries and standards and who have manners. It's hard. I know you're used to trash. So you get around people who are educated and, and you want to bring them down. You want to bring them down because you don't respect their title. You don't respect their title because you don't respect anyone else's title around you. You think everyone is like the people around you and you're messing with the wrong person. You're assuming things about someone. So what, what does the narcissist do? They poke at you, poke at you, poke at you. And once you get angry, now they get to tell you how, they re how they've been feeling about you. You know, you've been having boundaries and they're just poking at you, poking at you. All because you said no, and they're hoping I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm, I'm gonna try to be friends with you to get shit out of you. That doesn't work. Now they're just telling you, hey, can I do this? Can I get that? Hey, you know they're acting like salesmen, like they're offering you shit, like they're a nice person, and you're just like, nope, still not going for it. No, thank you. No, I don't want to buy that from you. Sorry. No. No, You're telling them no. They're sitting there like, you fucking bitch. I can't stand this bitch. Every time I see this bitch, I can't stand her. You can't, you can't, even, you can't even do the right thing. You're someone who does the right thing. You don't steal. You don't do certain things. You say no to them. Uh, you say no to them. They're like, hey, put this in your bag. You say no to them. Oh, you suck. You're weird. It's the, oh, the company makes a lot of money. That's weird. Oh, you, if I was with another girl, they would do it. Why would I do that? If we, if we both have jobs, we both work, and we both can pay for it. The narcissist is the lowest of the low. They're weirdos. Their adrenaline is always right. They just want to get away with stuff all the time. So you might be someone who you, you live by the code. You live by the rules. You already know what it's like living outside of the rules because the narcissist almost destroyed you. So now you live by the code, by the rules, by the principalities. And you stay away from narcissists. And guess what? They can feel your energy and they want to bring you down. They're chameleons and they're coming into your life playing games and they know they know that they can get away a lot of times and when they run across someone who catches them in their act and, and you say no to them now they're mad they hate you you're not cool you're not cool we don't like you now they're like i'm trying to figure out how i can how i can you know how i can make other people hate you for saying no to me. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to, you know, start issues with you or get you in trouble or destroy your life for saying no to me. I'm trying to get close to the, to your friends. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get close to your husband, to your wife. Now they're thinking of ways to come and destroy you over a no over and no and it could be anything from small things to big things the narcissist doesn't care you said no to them they don't like you 
If you say yes to them here, you can have this for free. If you say yes to them, they love you. Oh, I like them. They're cool. They're cool. You're cool doing the wrong things. So when you stay on your lane, they're going to get you. They're going to try to exploit you. And, and they already know there's a possibility you say no. And they're thinking to themselves, if you say no to me, watch what I'm going to do. If you say no to me, watch what I'm going to do. These are sick people. They're sick in the head. The narcissist will try to destroy you for saying no. For having boundaries. Especially if you allow them to overstep your boundaries, they feel like, why would you say no to me? You've been saying yes the whole time. You can't, you can't go from being a yes man to, to a no man. You can't do that. Now they feel like you got to pay for saying no to them, even though you've said yes to them so many times. That's crazy. You've done more for this person. And the moment you say no, they want to destroy you. Because to them, you should have never opened that door, you know? Um, so that's what they do, you know, when you say no to them. You know, they go and gossip about you. They twist stories. They make themselves seem like the victim. When you ignore them and they know you're ignoring them, they're like children. They're poking at you, you know, when you, are we there yet? Are we there yet? No. They're going to say it again. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? They don't stop. They're like kids, like annoying ass kids. And then if you don't give it to them, they're like the kick, the kid in the store kicking and screaming. They're like, OK, bitch, I'm going to break your shit now. I'm going to I'm going to key your car. I'm going to flatten your tire. Because you said no to me. You know. These are very weird and sick people. You know, they'll even premeditate with other people. They'll premeditate with the new supply. Oh, let's send this person. Let's send this person pictures. Let's do this. Let's do that. You know, when you say no, you're going to war with this person. This person is going to war with you. And, they're, and the war is the war of the mind. How can I get you to crack? How can I get you to get mad so that you can destroy yourself, so that you can lower your own frequency down, so that I can take space in your mind and show you that no one says no to me? You know, that's what narcissists do. When you say no to them, they don't believe you. They're like, what? Because they assume you're a nice person and you're supposed to be on their command they know you're nice they can sense your energy they feel like you should forgive me you should forgive me that was the other day it's a new day nobody wants to play with you narcissist i don't want to see your face anymore narcissist oh you know now i gotta love bomb you and make you believe that I'm really not the bad guy that you thought I was. I, what do you mean, narcissist? I saw it with my own eyes. No, you didn't. Now, now, you know, if you tell them they did something to you, no, they didn't do it. They're, they're good at saying no to you. Not only when you want something, but when you're accusing them of something or you have information about something. It's always no, 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 no. I didn't do it. No, no, no. No accountability. And if they do take accountability, they're like, oh, you're going to have to pay for, for me having to admit to my wrongs, bitch. That's how they feel. You're going to have to pay for that because you made me apologize when I shouldn't even had apologized. Because you should know I'm full of shit by now. You should know that if you're around me, you have to be a yes person. And then they want to force themselves on you because you don't want to be a yes person. Oh, I'm going to find another yes person. Go right ahead. Be my guest. 
that's weird you're weird you know so i'm sending you guys lots of love light peace and your healing i hope that this message on narcissists on narcissism and when you say no um, you have to ignore them because they'll sit there and they'll stare at you and they're waiting for you to pop off. They're waiting for you to argue with them. They're like, I know, I know you got it in you. They want to see how far they can take it with you. And you'll see every time these people piss you off, now they get quiet because they don't, they really don't want to escalate things to a physical or a violent level, even though they have it in them. They feel like I'm a badass. You know, they feel like it's in them to get violent. So they have this attitude about them like, oh, if you say no to me, you know, I'm going to mess you up type of thing, you know, because they feel like they have it in them. But other people have the same shit in them, too. So when they see, oh, you, I got, I, I can get on your level. Now they're like, oh, I don't really want to get on your, I don't really want to, I don't, I don't really want to go toe to toe with you. I was just trying to see if you had it in you. It's like they're, it's like they don't want to believe a no is a no until you get angry. And then when you get angry, they want to act like the victims. And then now they want, they want to have a reason to now argue with you and tell you how they really been feeling about you the whole time. That's all that was. So guess what? When you stay quiet, you're, you're, you're basically not giving them any energy at all. And that's why they won't leave you alone until you argue with them. When you argue with them, they'll argue with you. It might not get physical. It might get physical because they feel like they have to prove a point. Because they feel like you threatened them, even though it was them threatening you. They put their hands on you first, you know. And they'll act like when you use self-defense and you scared them off, now they're calling the police or they're doing stuff and it was them. They wouldn't leave you alone like a kid, bothering you, bothering you, and now you, you're pissed. Now they're the victim. You know, that's why, you know, when you get angry, the narcissist doesn't care. Because to them, it's like, I piss people off all the time. People piss me off all the time. So I'm pissing you off. I don't care. I don't care about saying no to you. People have said no to me my whole life. I'm taking it out on you. You know? So when you say when you say no to these people, don't argue with them. Don't go back. Don't waste your breath. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of your energy. It's a waste of your breath, your frequency. It's all about lowering your frequency. And now if you just stare at them, they want to keep repeating themselves and they want to keep doing the staring contest until you finally get mad because they're not going to leave. They're just like roaches. Like they're like roaches. It's like, I'm going to just keep coming back. I'm going to just keep coming back. I'm going to come back through someone else's body. I'm going to just keep coming. I'm going to keep using different bodies to come mess with you like an infestation. Once you open the door to one, other ones come. Other ones are watching. And when, when other ones are watching you get angry and upset, they're like, oh, I'm not scared of her. I'm not scared of him. Now the other people want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you just because you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. They feel like you're all bark. You know? And now they want to play games with you. You know? And then some of them, some of them don't even want the smoke, you know, some of them don't want the smoke because they know you're ready for them, too. So I'm um, sending you guys lots of love, light, peace and your healing. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. If you guys want to book a session with me and support my channel, you guys know what to do. And, you know, like I said, excuse my video editing. Um, you know, I'm still working on it. Um, and, you know, I'll get back to it soon. And I'm sending you guys lots of love, light, peace. Talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.